The Malaysian government has received harsh criticism for its handling of the search of missing Malaysia Airlines Flight 370, but one high-profile person is backing them up. President Obama. In a first ever visit to Malaysia for Obama, he praised the government's efforts on trying to find the plane, saying, I can't speak for all the countries in the region, but I can say that the United States and other partners have found the Malaysian government eager for assistance and fully forthcoming with us in terms of the information that they have. It's been more than a month since the plane went missing. Officials have started issuing death certificates for those that were on board and believe the plane is likely at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Malaysian officials received some harsh criticism, especially from families of the plane victims. Claims of withholding information or distributing incorrect information has further marred what has so far been an unsuccessful search for the missing plane. Obama said the U.S. will continue to help Malaysian officials search for the airliner, but MH370 wasn't the only thing Obama addressed in his rare visit to the Asian country. USA Today suggests the growing tensions with Russia over the crisis in Ukraine has, quote, overshadowed Obama's trip. During a news conference with Malaysia's prime minister, Obama urged for more countries to get involved and for stronger sanctions against Russia over their involvement in Ukraine. So long as Russia continues down the path of provocation rather than trying to resolve this issue peacefully and de-escalating, there are going to be consequences, and those consequences will continue to grow. We're going to be in a stronger position to deter Mr. Putin when he sees that the world is unified and the United States and Europe is unified. Obama is spending eight days touring the Asian Pacific coast. A U.S. president hasn't visited Malaysia in nearly 50 years. For Newsy, I'm at Moreno.